Welcome back to the true first person tutorial series. In this episode we will create a function to prevent the clipping. So let's get started. First you can see when we're walking and we go to a wall and you can see that our weapon is clipping and also our head a little bit but right now we will fix the arm clipping so we will move our arm down when it's too near to a wall so it won't clip all right so let's get started and let's go into our character blueprint so blueprints character logic here the tfp character and then let's create a new function called clipping trace like so all right let's get started and um Let's start with a sphere trace. So let's get the execu execution pin. Sphere trace for objects. Like so. Then let's um, get our weapon. So here's our weapon. Let's uh, get the socket location. Okay, so later we will create child blueprints of our. Uh, base blueprint weapon file here and then we will just have one child actor here in our character and then we will just cast the base and but right now we have um, just the skeletal mesh here so let's just get the socket location and we will modify it later uh, let's call the socket the clipping point so uh, we have to create the socket later in our mesh so that is our start so let's just get the forward vector um, if this isn't working and the trace is uh, pointing to the left and right, then you have to use the right vector, then your weapon is, isn't in the right rotation, but that's no problem. And if it's pointing in the opposite direction, uh, then we just have to multiply it by minus one. So, um, first let's multiply this to our value here. And that is our end. Okay, then all of object types make array and here we will set the object types that we'll collide with and here we will apply our clipping trace so um world static let's add world dynamic and physics body and uh, maybe okay then let's get started and let's um start by checking if you're hitting something with the return value here and when it's true, then let's create a new variable. So this is the end clipping location. So later we will go into our animation blueprint again and create some things there. Okay, so let's get our hand clipping location here. Then let's add, um, and let's put this variable here. So split struct pin x, y, and z. So x is 2 the y is minus 0 0.5 and the z is minus 2 that's basically just um the value how much we are moving our hand to the position and now let's clamp this so let's split the output x clamp uh, float let's paste this again okay um this is the value and this is the value and from our x, the values are 0 and 25. Um, this is 0 and 0. And this is minus 30 and 0. Let's say make vector. X, Y, and Z. And then let's um, interpolate this. So bin turb 2. This is our target. And the current is our hand clipping location. Then let's set our variable here. Nice. Oh, first, uh, let's set the interpolation speed. So let's get the world delta seconds. Multiply this. Uh, divide this. Divide one by the world delta seconds and then divide it by 20 this is our interp speed 
Now let's add a new variable and clipping rotation. And this is a rotator, let's set it after the location. And that is um, uh, pretty equal, so let's get the hand clipping rotation. Break rotator. Then um, let's get the X and let's um, let's add four and then let's clamp this variable also. Clamp float to zero and fifty and then make rotator. So then let's also interpolate this R interp to. <clears throat> this is the target. Our current is just the variable. And then the same for the rotation. Get world delta seconds. Divide one. And um, divide by 40. And then set it here. Okay, now let's go to the event graph. And then um, search for the event tick graph here. And then let's just call our clipping trace function. Okay, let's go to the animation blueprint here. TFP NM blueprint. And now this is pretty easy. We just uh, add some space here in the NM graph. And then let's just um, copy these four nodes from the walking animation. Like so, connect them. Make sure your joint targets are right there. And then let's just um, go to the update graph and let's get our variables. So get hand clipping location and get hand clipping rotation and then promote this to a variable. Like so. And now let's call them here. So walk in and rot, change to hand clipping rot. Walk in and pause, hand clipping pause. And yeah. I think that should be it. So let's compile. Save. <clears throat> okay. Before we start and uh, take a look, I forgot something. So um, let's go into our. AR15 here, and then let's create a new socket. We call this the clipping point. Make sure it's the exactly name um, that we gave it here, clipping point. So just copy it. And then we'll move it to the front of the weapon. Right there. Maybe a bit more forward. And then I also forgot something in the function. So here. You have to set the false, so our weapon will come back when it's been moved down. So we will create a another sphere trace. So uh, let's just copy our sphere trace here, paste it down there, and this is for the false. And I also forgot to set the radius. So make sure your radius here is five. Then let's set the radius from the false to ten. Okay, here everything is uh, exactly the same. Make sure everything is connected. Oh, I forgot this function here. Okay. Yeah. And then let's also add a branch after that. And only for false, um, set the hand clipping location again. And let's just uh, Vinterp2. Target is uh, blank, so zero. We will come back to the current the normal position get world delta seconds I get world delta seconds again let's multiply one and zero is our interpolation speed here and then also for the rotation just the same let's copy this let's just change the variables and 
a bit of the value, so rotation. Oh yeah, yeah. we have to use R and Herb. Printerp. So delta seconds. Interp and the interp speed is 10. Let's compile and save and let's take a look. Okay. Here it is. Let's go to wall. You can see it's been it's getting pushed down, but that's very slowly. The coming back is okay, it's good. But it's a bit too slow. So the right values are for the hand clipping location at 2 minus 0 0.5 and minus 3. Then for the interpolation from our location is 4. And for the rotation also 4. Here the interpolation is 7 and 10. And we add 8 to the hand clipping rotation. Alright, and now you can see when we move in to the wall. Our weapon is getting pushed down and comes back when we are too near to the wall. As you can see. And that is pretty nice. And you also can see in third person. Maybe it's a bit snappy sometimes, but um, I think we can change this later in the next episode. Um, Right now I have no I have another good idea on how can I change that by the interpolation, I don't know. But when you interpolate it much then you can see the clipping. Thanks for watching. In the next episode we will create more animations and we'll fix some bugs in our project. So thank you for watching and again it would greatly support the series if you would become a channel member. So thanks to these new two members.